Hey folks, Bill here with Guillory Fine Art. Recently, one of my subscribers asked um, how well does On One 2023 handle um, the selection of a small animal in a, um, a very cluttered background. And at the time, I didn't have any images to... Uh, to test it out but uh, this afternoon I downloaded um, images off of an older camera that I had and uh, I've got a couple of uh, good images to uh, to illustrate I hope uh, hope this is um, interesting for you this image is a, um, a sparrow that's inside um, my fig tree a bunch of branches all over he's got his head turned and you can't see the eye or the beak but if I uh, come straight to effects add a filter and select animal it does a pretty decent job as far as um, identifying that object as being um, an animal now if I zoom in closer and do a view on the mask you can see it caught uh, the majority of the bird it caught a little extra of the branch right here and it lost his leg in the back and a little bit of the tail feather tail wings um, but overall I think it did a pretty decent job uh, finding the sparrow on this other image He's got his head turned, and uh, you can see the eye and the beak. So if we go uh, filter and animal, and we'll do the same thing, dynamic contrast. And we zoom in, select the mask, and view the mask. Now on this one, it caught a little bit extra, I guess because of the, uh, the tonality of the branch. So, um, and it also lost the leg and the tail. Um, and I don't want to say the majority of the images, but on um, a good bit of the images, you might have a soft mask where you have to go in and touch up. Now, in this case, it's a clean background I can go to add a filter select the animal and dynamic contrast and it looks like it uh, did a pretty decent job including finding the uh, feathers I mean feathers there's no feathers on a squirrel but the uh, the hair it uh, oops sorry about that Alt. Let me zoom back out. Did a pretty decent job selecting the squirrel. Now, um, there was a hawk on my backyard, on my back fence, and uh, he turned around and flew away. And I thought it was a pretty, uh, pretty interesting way to check you can see it um, found the animal and but it is soft all the way around it so depending on what you are using the mask for you may have to go in and tweak it um, I think it's kind of a, a mixed bag of um, results because right here you can see on the bird flying away from me it selected the body and bits and pieces of the wing in my opinion I think it should have selected this wing coming up now there um, there's another image the bird the hawk flew and lit 
on a branch where there was another hawk. So apparently it was a, a pair. Um, and I'm going to do effects, add a filter, select animal. And as you can see, it only selected the one bird. In my opinion, it should have selected the other one because of the eye and the beak. It should have been uh, identified. But um, it wasn't, so uh, that's what I've got. I've come up with, and um, I hope this was helpful. And drop a line if um, you have any comments or questions. Thanks.